Hello, my name is Mercury and welcome to this brand new episode of Media Fay. Today I'm alone, today I'll be discussing the Xbox game showcase that premiered on, what was it, June June 8th, June, June 6th of this year. It's been quite a while, I, I don't remember when this premiered, to be honest with you. But, um... Uh, but yeah, we're gonna talk about it now. I know it's been June 9th, actually. I was, I was not on any of those dates. June 9th. So, so, so what, so one that premiered on June 9th. I, uh, it's been going a while since it's come out, and certainly there's things that are kind of out of date, so I, that are, you know, outdated. So, so I decided to, I decided to, uh, update them with new information, uh, specifically the release dates. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be talking about today. I don't know how long this episode will be. Just saying, or we're kind of just going over everything, but... Yeah, no, I... What the fuck? Okay. I was going to close the Discord tab. I'm recording this on my, on my phone, but like... Still, it's kind of annoying. Anyways, um... Yeah, no, I feel like... Give this a second. Um, uh, yeah, no, uh, I don't, again, we haven't really, we, we've covered at Spots Presentations before, we covered their last two presentations that they had, uh, I, uh, I don't, it's, it's like, it's like the Xbox, the ID, it was the Xbox Partner, what was it, like, the Xbox Partner Preview, yeah, we, we talked about the Partner Preview, that was in March, and we also talked about uh, ID at Xbox. Yeah, the ID at Xbox showcase. We talked about both of those. So yeah, and now we're talking about the the third one, the more the big one, right? I don't know if they will do if they will do. Oh, I have this tab over on the ID at Xbox. I don't know if they'll do anything like new for if they'll do anything new for like um I, I around this time of year like it's far so I don't I don't think Xbox is like that like that kind I, we usually don't have anything around this time of year just like maybe like a one state of play or something which we haven't gotten in a while. We, we're up to date with State of Plays, like, we, like, and we're not in the, in the direct, but we should expect the direct so, sometime soon. But, like, with, like, uh... But what is it? But, but with, um... With State of Plays, we, we are up to date. <laughs> like, we, there's not been a State of Play yet we have missed. Is right now, I I'm pretty sure. So yeah, no, like we are, we're going in, uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, there's only we're only missing two. Uh, actually, we're missing quite a few of these big uh, company presentations. But you yeah, know, I feel like we should just get right into it. I've been babbling on for uh, for I don't know how long, and uh, and it's been about nothing. Just kind of talking, about, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, no. Let's just let's just jump right into it to what you came here for. This is, I think, one of the better presentations of the year. I think this year has been getting some banger presentations, and I feel like you know this is this is the start of them. So let's just go over it, uh, you know, like we always do. Uh, announcement by announcement, and uh, let's just get right into it. So first up is one that I, uh one that might be surprising that i put first up and not like at the last one and that is because i didn't count this game's separate presentation as part of this one and that is call of duty black ops 6. Now, like many probably many of you know that black ops 6 got its own presentation uh after the xbox uh game showcase and I will not be covering that. <laughs> I won't be covering the that. Just because it's it it, 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 it isn't part of it. It's its own presentation. 
but I'm not gonna talk about. I'm, I'm probably never gonna talk about that at, at some at any point. So might as well talk about what's in there here, because this was their first announcement. This was their opener, Call of Duty. So apparently, Call of Duty is actually changing uh, some of its uh, gameplay. I know that's kind of surprising, right? They're adding new things. So one of the main criticisms I've always had with uh, with Call of Duty, and probably, I don't know if I ever mentioned it, but I've definitely talked about it privately. I don't know if I ever said it at any point, but I am not the biggest Call of Duty fan. I have played two Call of Duty games, and they were with the same experience. I would play not entirely, but I did play through a little bit of... Um, uh, I, I did play through a little bit of... What was it? Uh, Black Ops 3. And then I played, uh, and then I played through the entire story mode of Black Ops Cold War. Uh, so yeah, pretty much exclusively Black Ops. <laughs> I've never played any game aside from Black Ops, and I don't really intend to. I'm not, I'm not that big on, I'm not, I'm not that big on Call of Duty. I do like shooter games, but I don't. I'm, not, I've never been the biggest Call of Duty fan. I've always criticized the fact that there's one yearly. We do not need a yearly Call of Duty game. There's no, I don't think there's a need for it. I certainly don't think there is a market for it. I mean, there obviously is a market, but I'm th- but like, they should really stop. I-, I feel like it is the same thing that happens. But you know, they get with, with like uh, with like sports games. There's a sports game every year for I think no reason. So you know, I. I truly think that it's been kind of, Call of Duty hasn't evolved in a while, and that's a, a big consensus. So I'm happy to see that they're actually doing something different. They're adding uh, sprinting in all directions, which is kind of cool. Uh, that's really the only thing I, I, I think they added. They, they added the ability to for for um, for, um, for more mobility, and uh, you yeah, know, I feel like that, that opens up a lot of uh, a lot of what the game could do. And I think it's also shooting while running. I'm pretty sure that's what they also they're adding, which is you know like they're adding more stuff that makes the game interesting, and I feel like that's really cool. Um, but like, it took this long to add those things, really. And I, I guess the only real reason why they keep doing the yearly releases is for like Warzone to get more updates, because Warzone's their cash cow. Like it's 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 Warzone, or it's pretty much nothing. Like like they 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 really put all their eggs in one basket with Warzone. So that's that's so yeah they they use Warzone as the big like game and you know the other ones as sort of like a package deal to have, to have with Warzone thing. And I you know I feel like I feel like Call of Call of Duty doesn't really. Need need to have really releases anymore that's not a thing that uh that it, it, it that, that's not what it needs this is not what the what the game needs to be genuinely honest with you uh where is here okay it's it i don't think call of duty needs a yearly release it it just doesn't it, it, because it, we, we get stuck with the same thing. I guess it, we, we get stuck with the same thing that actually happens with, uh, with, with the that happens with the fuck that ha- that happens with the the, the, the the sports games where they don't evolve until sometimes one game it is one new thing that just keeps going the series and that takes a while. There has been. A yearly release of Call of Duty games since 2005. There is, there are what? I guess since 2005. How many, how many Call of Duty games are there? Um, 25, 20, 20, 21 installments in the Call of Duty franchise. Because Warzone's a thing. Somewhere. 
you know, I, it's Warzone, and then there's um, I I I guess to Call of Duty Warzone Mobile, <laughs> I guess that's what it is. Oh no, we have. Eh. So yeah, um. There's been a yearly Call of Duty game since 2005. We do not need almost 20 Call of Duty games. Like, we don't need 21 Call of Duty games. And not in the span of 20 years. And all, and honestly, all all these developers, like, they go they go in a cycle. It, 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 that's why they get, they get to be put out so quickly, because of one, uh, because then uh, one one developer uh, takes over the other one, and then they keep cycling. So since 2012, they've been on a cycle of Treyarch, Infinity War, and Sledgehammer games going back and forth on these re- re- resets, and they don't they don't have, they pretty much stop. I, I that, that's what it is. Like they just don't like they they're on the cycle. Except for once, where Cold War was actually made by Treyarch. Treyarch and Raven Software, which, I mean, that, that was usual, but like, Treyarch... But Treyarch made Call of Duty Black Ops 4, and then Infinity War, and then it was Treyarch again. And then Vanguard uh, was made by such hard games, but who the fuck remembers Vanguard? Nobody played Vanguard. So yeah, what I'm trying to say is that Call of Duty, I'm glad that we're seeing actual changes to the gameplay of Call of Duty, but I I think that I, I think that I hope that it's I, that it's the start of new things being added to the game rather than just this one in a once in a like 20 10, 10 year thing where they're adding a new thing and then that new thing never comes back ever like that, that, that new thing stays for the rest of the games and that's never really elaborated upon it's not really explored it's just this thing but aside from that i don't have the biggest attachment to call of duty like i said earlier i don't play the games for the story i don't play the games at all so i don't i don't know anything i played through the story mode of call of duty i guess black, uh, cold war black of cold war so i know some of the characters that, that we see here it definitely seems like a sequel to cold war which makes me uh, kind of question what happened to uh, to the things from Black Ops 2, 3, and 4, where they were a little bit more futuristic than the Cold War. I'm, I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's like it's like the same factions, different time periods. I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you, but yeah, no, that, that's really. But that's really all I have to say like the story, but nobody plays Call of Duty for the story. So yeah, I'm not gonna buy Call of Duty Black Ops. It's it's fucking 300 gigabytes of space. Again, that's out fucking that's outrageous to have that much space. Like I, one game take up that much space. That is the entire. I'm pretty sure 300 gigabytes is the entirety. Like the. the like not even half of all the PS2 games added up like in memory. How much those th- those games take up? Like I- I'm pretty sure those little memory th- uh, cards that the PS2 had were like two or four megabytes. Like like two or four megabytes is one picture th- in this day, and it's like it's like it's like more than it, it, it's like it's less than than a video. So. Yeah, um, I wouldn't, uh, I don't know if, um, I really, I really don't know if, uh, if, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't agree with the fact that Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is 300, it should be 300 gigabytes, it's the, no game should tax 300, just take away 300 gigabytes, I just have of, like, what the PS5 lets you have, so that's just Call of Duty. Don't, if, if, do not buy this game if you don't have the space for it. It is a waste of 70 bucks. So yeah. Anyways, Black Ops 6. I've been. This is the longest I've talked about the game. But Black Ops 6 is coming out on October 25th, 2024. Next up is a game that I am very excited for. 
and that is Doom the Dark Ages, I guess the official opener of the Xbox Game Showcase. So Doom the Dark Ages it's a game that I really wasn't expecting. We did get some we, we did get some hints like in leaks about this game and uh, the fact that it could happen like it, it could that it could happen. Uh I like, like a prequel game. And especially after what happened after the after how um after how fucking Eternal ended where I haven't played through the second DLC, but I do know what happens in it. When where the the Dark Lord get the Dark Lord the Dark Lord gets killed by the Doom Slayer and the Doom Slayer gets put into another like coma not uh, coma but like it gets uh gets in, like in, interred again and you know put back in the ground and, and put to sleep. That's I guess why like I, I guess like it's not you can't really go anywhere with a sequel. So I understand why they were having a prequel yeah, to to the twenty six to, to like the new era of gaming of, of the Doom games because this is actually technically a sequel to Doom sixty four but a prequel to Doom two thousand sixteen. It's very weird. <laughs> Basically, the story of like Doom is that uh that the Doom the, the Doom Slayer and Doom guy the same person that that was the Final Eternal and that. Uh, after the events of Doom 64, which is the official Doom 3, not whatever the fuck that one from Dustin 5 was, um, he gets, he basically gets stuck in hell, um, and well, get, well, he gets found by the by the by the by Argent Dinner, and he, he, he's pretty much stuck in hell, and. Uh, and he fights for for dinner and with the night sentinels until until the the, the general betrayal the, the betray the betray uh, the betrayer uh, keeps him in hell like it's like betrays him duh and uh, and it pretty much imprisons doom uh, do the doom slayer in hell and that's why they and, and that's when uh, uh, the UAC finds him in 2016. And then the and then you know 2016 and doesn't internal happens, but there is like a period of a few million years where um where the Doomslayer was fighting for Argent Dinner, so they could have explained they could have explored that further than what we see in Eternal and especially 2016. We don't really see mo most of the story of the Doomslayer is kind of just implied in 2016. It's internal. I get to read the the, the codexes. But one thing I don't really like about those games is that the story, like the codexes are the story. Like you pretty much have to read the codexes so you know what the fuck is going on and who and what care who care like what who is who in this in this story because none of it makes any fucking sense. So yeah, I'm like so now we're getting this game, it should like open up to like what the to to what we we could expect from uh f like what what the actual story is but my question is what will be the story of D uh, of of doom the dark ages because it's it's a prequel but like it has to have a conclusion so at some point are we gonna see the fa are, are we gonna see the is it gonna conclude with the betrayer betraying the doom slayer and putting him in a coma and putting him in, like, putting like imprisoning him in, in the in a tomb maybe that's very possible but that, that would be the tail end of the war <laughs> I could definitely see that I am really enjoying what's the what we get while we're getting shown of the weapons in in this game so I I'm very excited. I liked I I liked 2000. Uh, I, I I like both games, but I think I like Eternal more. I don't know about the, the the most popular opinion, but I do like I do like Eternal more than I liked uh, 2016. So I I it's I kind of I don't know. I I. I'm, I'm expecting good things. I'm definitely gonna buy it day one, but I I don't know if uh, I don't I don't know if uh, it, 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 I don't know like 
apparently the dark the the Asian gods part part two wasn't really that good or that hard to begin with which is kind of the thing about part one that it was pretty hard so I hope that they really amp up the difficulty in this game so it doesn't feel too easy like how apparently uh, the, uh, Asian gods part two was but you yeah, know I, I I'm hoping I, I'm looking forward to this game I hope it's really I hope it's good so, uh, yeah, no, uh, that's really, I think I'll say about the Doom Dark Ages. It is coming out in 2025. And that is another fucking game that, uh, that now is coming out in 2025. That I will have to definitely buy day one. Because now we have four games. We have, uh, we have Pokemon Legends, Ar uh, Legends ZA, I almost said Arceus. We have Monster Hunter Wilds. Uh, GTA 6. And now, Doom the Dark Ages. This is awesome. I, I love wasting money. That is already... $280 gone out of my wallet. So that's fun. Anyway, State of Decay 3 is up next. And uh, this game, uh, not uh, this is going to be very short because I know we spent 20 minutes talking about two games. But that will definitely not be the rest of the uh, of, of this. Um, State of Decay 3 looks very uninteresting. Uh, the gameplay, if there was even gameplay, was very... Clunky, like it, it didn't look polished. It didn't look enticing. This looks like your normal zombie game. Like it, it's just not. Um, it, it's just not really my thing. Like, and not. I don't. I don't think it was anyone's thing. We didn't get shown that much gameplay, or if it really was gameplay that we got shown. It is so like bizarre to me. Like we didn't get shown actual gameplay or anything really like it, it it was so confusing looking back at it because i have to rewatch it again because you know it's been two months since the presentation came out but you know i it's so weird to see it to, to see something like this it, 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 to see like that type, type type of like presentation that kind of a trailer it's so weird like, it, it's, it's like half gameplay half not I, I don't i don't i don't get it but yeah um that was short, really. Um, I, I don't have much to say about State of Decay 3. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't have a release date, from what I can gather. So yeah, let's just kind of move on. Next up is Dragon Age The Veil Guard. And this is another game that... Uh, I'm, that they didn't really show much. I don't know much about Dragon Age. I know it's a very big franchise sometimes. Um, but this is like their... their newest installment i get that i don't know much about dragon age uh i could say it looked interesting but I, i'm not it looks like your normal fantasy world and you know nah. I, I don't know like maybe maybe eh, eh? it's very i'm very conflicted i don't i don't know what to say it was just a cinematic so I can't really go off the gameplay here. So yeah. Um, I'd love to have an opinion on this game. But I just really shown gameplay. I can't really be shown like things. And I don't really care about Dragon Age. So I can't really speculate on what everything means. Because I don't know what anything means. But yeah, no, that was uh that was short. Okay, anyways, uh Dragon Age of Veil Guard is coming out in, on fall 2024. Next up is the Starfield updates. They announced the fact that there's a DLC coming out called Shattered Space in 2024. And there's a content update that is available now and that's been available now for two months. I, I, I'm pretty sure that a lot of people have played the hell out of that. But so, you know, like the content update had like, I think, player created maps and stuff, like player, player created stuff. And the DLC... I had to murder jack shit up. <laughs> Starfield is one of those games that I'm very... Uh, it, uh, it's actually kind of weird to me. I... Remember the hype around this game. Like, genuinely remember the hype about this game. This game, people thought wasn't real. I remember in 20... What was it? 2018, 2017? In E3, where they showed the title for this game. And that was a game that was like in probably in leaks and speculations or maybe was just mentioned. I don't I don't remember. But this game was big. Like this game, people thought like fucking was the white whale of
it was like the white whale of of of, of, of Bethesda. Nobody knew what the. What what the whole thing was, like what this was, and uh, you know, like it, uh, yeah, twenty okay, twenty eighteen. Um, they revealed the they revealed the game, like they revealed officially revealed the game. People, uh, it was probably leaked and stuff, uh, and uh, and they, people were like, okay, this game is not real. It's been they have been in development for quite a while. Like it's been in the name for a while. Oh, the trick my name 2013. So, yeah, no, like, it's, it was a game that was like. It, it, it was a game that was it, it probably in, like, again, in leaks and all that, and it was very much talked about that. And then this game, I was like, okay, this game is not happening. There's no, there's been nothing on it for five years. Literally nothing on it for five years. So, what the fuck, right? And then suddenly, 2018 gets announced. Okay, so this game is real. Um, then 2021, we get gameplay, I think, for for me three. That's it. Last E3. Also, fucking love that. I think I mentioned before that the only E3 that Media Fair has ever done was the last E3 <laughs> ever. We didn't get 2022. We didn't get any E3 2022. I think it was cancelled for 2023, 2024. People thought we were going to come back in 2025. Or something. And then it got cancelled. And then, and then it's like, okay, shut, shut down. Shut, shut, shut down. I really don't think we'll get, like, okay. Before we get to Starfield, I don't really think, I don't, I don't think we're ever going to get E3. Again, like, we're not. I, I don't think we'll ever get an E3 uh, we'll never get an E3 again it lasted fucking how much um, it, it lasted uh, 20 no not 20 20 no yeah no wait 26 years 26 years, we never, we're probably never gonna get E3, to be honest. Um, because no, no, nobody's interested. Not even like a, now it's been taken over by the, by uh, Summer Game Fest, and on, you know, everyone else doing their presentations online because they realized that during like, they realized Nintendo was doing it, and uh, they didn't have to wait for E3. So they just did, they, they just started doing it themselves, and people started like, you know, all the companies started doing that, so yeah. Anyway, Starfield. The game was talking about for a while, and then it came out, and uh, nothing happened. <laughs> so it's very, it's very peculiar to see the fact that Starfield just shut down. Like, not shut down, but like any talk about it, just fucking nothing. And uh, you know, I don't, I, I really don't. I, it's, it's kind of weird to see that. Um. So yeah, I. It's very interesting. And Shattered Space. Fucking, I, I don't remember anything about it to be honest. I can't tell you. Apparently, they're adding a, a vehicle. They're adding vehicles to the game. So that's in. So that like, why did it take so long? So, you know, I, I. To be honest. I don't know if like this will save Starfield. I don't know if people keep like, playing Starfield, but yeah, no. Um, the Shattered Space DLC is coming out in 2024. Like I said earlier, the content update was available now. Anything cool, cool things with Starfield? I don't, I don't know if we'll save the game. Next up is a game that I know will never be saved: Fallout 76. They announced that there was a, there, there was going to be a Skyline Valley DLC, uh, which was available, which is actually available now. And the ghoul character you're going to get to be able to play as a ghoul. For the very first time, I think, in fall history, which, which will be coming out in early 2025. Now, uh, why the fuck are they still promoting Fall 76? Um, that is, a, I, think that, I think it's a very good question for me. Uh, because it just, for me, it doesn't make sense why they would ever 
just keep talking about Fallout 76. Fallout 76 was a failure through and through. And they keep adding shit to it. Like, they keep... They keep... It, it was a failure. I remember... People were... Ge- uh, retailers were giving this game out for free. Because nobody bought it. Nobody bought this game. No, no, nobody wanted to buy this game. Those, those who did probably refunded it. Apparently, it's getting it's it's getting stud reviews, and apparently they fixed it. But I don't know. I, I, I don't know, I don't know why they would keep, you know, like, why they would keep updating this game, it, it, it's just not profitable, I feel. There's not that much of a fan base for this game anymore, I think. Maybe, maybe I'm misunderstanding what, what I'm, uh, the, what, what uh, anything is here, but I, I just don't feel like Fallout 76 should be a game that you should be, like, spending your time, your money, the company's money on. People! Probably want to follow five or follow whatever the fuck followed six. If follow seven six, follow five, or and then just like a weird spinoff. Fucking no. hell. Okay. Um. Oh, there's an actual, they're actually working on a Fall of Five. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, so they said, um. So they, so they said that uh, the, the Fallout. Fall of Five would start development after Elder Scrolls 6. Elder Scrolls 6. And didn't start development until a year ago after the release of Starfield. It was announced in June of 2018 alongside Starfield. Just putting it out there. Just saying. I accidentally hit my, uh, not teeth, but like, lips on the table. This might, this might be the fucking worst episode I've ever recorded in my life. Anyways, uh, yeah, no, like, I, I don't know why they keep voting this shit. So weird. So actually fucking weird. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. Anyways, like I said earlier, the, the everything and playing as a ghoul is cool, I guess. Fuck, fuck out, whatever. Let's keep going before this episode turns into fucking two hours long, talking about nothing. Um... Clear Obscure, uh, Expedition 33, fucking hell, okay. So, to be really honest with you, I, uh, to be, to be actually generally honest with you, I, I, we have not gone that far, god damn it, we're already 30 minutes in. We're, we're 30 minutes in, I have not gone that far. Anyways, uh, this game is an RPG, I don't really understand what, what, what anything is here, really. Um... So I, I am like I am confused. <laughs> I'm very confused as to what anything in this game is even trying to be. So yeah, I don't I I don't I don't I don't get it. I really don't get it. It's an RPG, sure, but it's, it's very weird setting. It's kind of not nothing. It's it's not interesting to me. I don't really care about this game. Is that that's really about it? I don't I don't care about this game. I don't. Yeah, but before we keep repeating myself, let's move on. Anyways, uh, that's version 33, which is the worst fucking name I've ever heard. To be fucking- Okay. Claire Obscure, S-33 is the worst name you could have picked. You should have kept it, version 33 Because Claire Obscure is a fucking nobody. I think. What the fuck is Claire Obscure?
so it, it, I found it's a 2016 Turkish drama film. That can't be it, right? Can't be it. So you know, it's an it's either nobody like author or something, or there is there there are apparently it's apparently based on the clear obscure Turkish drama film, which is definitely not what it is. So you know, I don't know what to say. Anyways, Clear Obscure, like I said, it's coming out in 2025. South of Midnight. Um, okay, that's so that's that's that stuff. And to be honest with you, um, I, I can't say much. It's a mostly nothing. Like we didn't see anything from this game. We saw like one fight and like traversal, and that's really about it. It's like very basic traversal and very basic. You know, a gameplay of just defeating, just beating that an enemy like that was just there for no reason. I feel, and I, I feel like it could be cool. Like we could, we saw like the giant croc thing, but why didn't we show more of the giant croc thing? Why, I want to see the giant croc thing. God damn it! I don't want to see whatever fucking shit you you have. The, 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 the random thing that appeared out of nowhere. Show me the fucking croc thing. And I, I, I like I, I like the the weirdness of it. I, I like the fact that we have a giant catfish as, as our as our companion. So like, what the fuck are you doing? Just show us more of the stuff that actually you know like is kind of cool instead of just showing us st stupid things. I feel it, it, it showing us stupid things that we don't really care about. So yeah, no, I I I I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I I, I I really don't know. What the fuck? What their plan with this game was, I can't say much. It looks kind of generic, to be honest. At least, at least right now, what I like about the game is the fact that in cutscenes, and only in cutscenes, they, it's like choppy. Like it look, it looks choppy. Like could be cool, but when it goes to gameplay, it smooths out. Why? Keep keep a style. God damn it! This game makes me mad because this game has potential. I want to see what the world's about. I want to see what this talking catfish and a giant cro a tree crocodile. Come on, man. Show me more of that. I damn it. Okay. Anyways. So, yeah. Not much to say about Midnight. It's coming out in 2025. Next up is World of Warcraft The War Within Expansion. And uh, I have nothing to say because we didn't get shown any gameplay about this. Other than I don't know much about World of Warcraft. All I know is the stupid movie that came out in 2016 called just called Warcraft. I didn't even see that shit. So yeah, um, I, 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 I don't know what to say. I really don't know. Like World of Warcraft has never been a game that really interested me i don't know if i can even play it on console i, I don't own a pc but i don't know fucking blasphemy um but i don't i don't own a pc so yeah no i can't say much i'm not a world of warcraft fan enough I, I don't know enough about world of warcraft to know what the gameplay is about and i don't know enough about um and that and that this this didn't, this didn't tell me anything i, I had to know i like I, oh i yeah no, i had to know what world, world of warcraft was right no I don't, I don't fucking know what this game is about show me the game Show me the game, goddammit! Ugh, I, I love to talk about World of Warcraft, but I can't because I think I don't even know what the game is about. If, if, if I see one third prison camera, I'm gonna shit myself. Thank you, Google, for listening to my voice and knowing that I want to talk about World of Warcraft. This is an MMO? Great. I mean, yeah, if I, if I see one, if we see one top, those those graphics are awesome. <laughs> Is that what the game looks like right now? Probably not. I, I wouldn't think so. But anyways, yeah, I know I, I can't really say much about World of Warcraft. I'm not really that experienced in it. But if anything else here was new, cool, I can't talk about it. I'm not even gonna try. Um. Yeah, I know. It just doesn't really interest me. So, yeah. Anyways, that the expansion is coming out on August 26, 2024. 
Next up is something I can't talk about because we actually got shown gameplay. Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater, the remake of Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. Yeah. So, this game actually looks very cool. Uh, recently, the, uh, recently, uh, the, the entire, the, the, all, uh, I think the first three games were put on, uh, were, were put on a collection. So, you can play those games right now, and I feel like three will be interesting one to remake i think it's the first game chronologically or maybe that's four i don't know but but yeah no i i it, it looks very cool I, I i like the fact that we have to that we're not really provided anything for this game we have to do things on our on our own and we're just putting through this one mission that's what the entire game is about that's very cool this is what it looks like um So yeah, I, I really like what I've seen. There's still no info about a release date for this game. I'm probably got to 2025, even though again, there's no release date, so we don't know if it got delayed or not. Um, you know, I, I, I like what I, I like what I'm seeing. It looks again just, I guess, from normal Metal Gear game, but it's very cool, and I, I like the fact that we're getting a remake. So. Maybe that opens the door for more remakes of other games, of other, of other Metal Gear games, and maybe you know some, something, uh, something rising. It maybe maybe you take out the Solid and put something rising, eh? you know. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, no Metal Gear Solid Delta uh, Snake Eater doesn't have release date just yet. I think it's coming out next year, but we don't really know that. Uh, next up is Sea of Thieves season 13. Now I love to play Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves just got released on PlayStation. I love to play it, but I'm gonna wait for it for a sale on it because I don't, I, I, I don't, I, I don't play it. And you know what? It, look, it looks fun. This is definitely it, this. This season looks a lot, a little more darker than other like other seasons. I, I, I don't think the season's even available right now. And I think we're on. Maybe we're maybe uh, we're not even on season. Uh, probably on season 14. If I'm being honest. Uh, sometime in 2024. Oh, we're still on season 13. Began on July 25th, 2024. Oh, right. It began July. Um, I'm kind of stupid. It didn't. It didn't begin. It didn't begin. Like right now, it it, broke, it, it began two weeks ago. So you know, um, a lot of, it, I guess if you were playing um, season twelve, actually no wait, uh, did it, did it, uh, this the season twelve uh, started when they were just adding PS when they're, they're adding the PS five and stuff so. Yeah, um, that's cool. Anyway, uh, yeah, no, uh, I, that, that's pretty cool that we're, that we're still in it, you know. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to say it, it's very cool. Someone that could actually talk about uh, Sea of Thieves will be Pancake since he actually owns the game. But, you know, like, he didn't want to be in this episode. He probably didn't want to talk, fucking talk about, I don't know, oh, just anything here, to be honest. I mean, they didn't want to talk about fucking stuff at midnight or whatever it's coming up next. But, you know, I, you know, Sea of Thieves, very cool. I love to play, but right now I'm probably not going to. So, yeah. Sea of Thieves Season 13 is available now, and I don't know when it's going to end. Apparently, the last one had 86 days of, uh, of, of, of you know, staying here, so it, it could, it, it could probably, you know, stay for a while. Anyways, next up is Flintlock: The Siege of Dawn. Now this game looks interesting. It looks very. I think it looks cool. I think it looks cool. Um, I like the mechanics of it of having you know this god and uh, that you have alongside with you while you're trying to assassinate other gods and the gods is gonna find with it. So 
I feel like that's that's cool, but uh. You know, I, I feel, feel like, uh, uh, oh yeah, I, I actually, it, it didn't capture me, but I, I feel like it's very cool, and uh, I would say it, ha- it, ha- it has potential, but it, it, it already fulfilled its potential, like it, it already probably either fulfilled its potential or went under its potential. Because it's already out. Like, you, you can go play Flint Long as the Siege of Dawn. I don't know what score has. Let me just look it up real quick. Thank you for putting Flint Long as the Siege of Dawn. Um, uh, review on the front. And it's a 7 out of 10 on, on Steam. Uh, 44% of people like this game. Wow. Mixed reviews. Come on, Kepler. Uh, you made uh, you made Sifu. Oh no, this is your game's published. Developer A44. Um, and you're also gonna publish Clear Obscure is fucking 33, 33, 33. Awesome. Sifu, Scorn, Gia, Ultros. I've heard about all these games. Mine specific drive. Ultros. Yeah, no, I did. We talked about this at some point. I think we talked about like meeting soon or something. Or maybe, yeah, maybe we didn't, but it was supposed to be. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, anyways, yeah, no. Apparently it's not, it's not good, but, you know, apparently it's okay, but I don't know. Like, uh, cool, I guess, if you like this game. You know, whatever. It's available now if you want to go play it, but don't if you don't. Next up is Age of Mythology Retold. Um, this might, I'm guessing it's a remake. Um, I like the fact that it is like it, it combines uh, different mythologies. I think that's also that's always very cool. Um, trying to get, maybe get them as accurate as possible, but you know, always you know try new things to to add. You know, doing all that and you know just just making new crossovers with mythology, which is kind kind of weird to say, but yeah, like it's very cool, and you can always play around with like. How other gods interact with other gods. That's that's always a thing you can all, you can do. My don't know about this game is that, that, that it's top down. I'm not the biggest fan of top down strategy games, so I'm probably not going to play it to be honest. But I like I like its idea. I, I like I like its ideas, but I don't like its gameplay. Just just kind of putting it out there. Anyways, uh yeah, Age of the to- Age of Mythology Retold is coming out on September 4th, 2024. So it's not really that far off. Next up is Perfect Dark. Finally, some news about this game. <laughs> this is all we need is some news about Beyond Good and Evil 2, which apparently is still happening. Um, thank you, Wikipedia, for also listening to me in my conversations. Um, where is it? A prequel, it's a prequel. Uh, one generation, but uh, the but uh, but Jade is also here. So yeah, um, it actually took. Oh, what the fuck is wild? Uh, another game that's never been. Like, what the fuck? The game was no longer an active development. Wah wah. <laughs> what was this? Thursday? Thursday? No way. This is last week? July 31st, 2024. What? That was... So, pretty it's another game called Wild, which is, I think, the same developers, maybe? No. No, it's not. But it was, like, it was with a, a Ubisoft. And there was a six still working on it. Or something. 
Oh wow! No, it's anybody. It's like it was maybe Ansel, which is like I think director for it, and uh, yeah, no, like they left. Uh, he left the game. What? What? What's paperware? Oh, you yeah, know, apparently Wild is not just it, it's not in development, but being good able to um. Was and uh, now it has the the longest official uh, development time of any game, beating out uh, beating out uh, Duke Nukem Forever. You know, it was announced in 2016. Official announced in 2016. And it was in development for 15 years. It was in development for 15 years, 2006. Got a trailer in E3 2017, and then got and then got another one 2018. That's it. That's it. We get no no news for six years, and uh, and then uh, and then apparently in 20 in 2024 they said June of this year they said oh Ubisoft said that was still being worked on. So whatever. Yeah. But moving on. But actually like talking about whatever this game was, Perfect Dark. Perfect Dark uh, was also a game that that, were, that was announced quite a while ago, and we did not hear anything about it. It was announced in the 2020 uh, the Game Awards. I was there for it. I, I, that was the 2020 Game Awards is a historical event for Media FA. It was the first time that we tried to cover the Game Awards, but we couldn't. We have a history of the Game Awards too. This year, I promise to all of you that we will cover the Game Awards. We will cover the Game Awards. Nine separate episodes like I tried to in 2022. Not, not this. Just as one big episode talking about everything. It will be three hours long, but it will happen. We will cover the Game Awards. No matter what happens, we will cover the Game Awards. It's fucking hell. It's it, it, it's what we need. It, it, it's a round down media fame. Three years of this crap, we still have to cover the Game Awards. Pee-wee, I promise you, you're not listening to this. I know you're not listening to this. But I promise you, I will fulfill the promise of making me a fake cover a game board. Just, just one. Because, I, yeah, we tried to cover the 2020 game awards as our first episode, uh, as our second, second episode, but that didn't happen. We, we were a month late, and I'm looking at us, look at us now, right? <laughs> look at us now, right? Talking about a, an Xbox uh, presentation, 50 minute mark, and I'm still not halfway through. Yippee! Um. And, uh, and yeah, 2021, we tried it again, didn't happen. 2022, tried it again. Did we try it again? We did. Uh, it didn't happen. <laughs> uh, 2023, we didn't try. <laughs> I, 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 2023, I, I accepted by my fate that I did was just not getting to, to do that. I, I was just never going to do that. And this year, we will be there. We will be there for the Game Awards. Whatever Monster Hunter announces, I will be there for it. <laughs> Just say, watch out, Jeff Keighley, I'm coming for you. Anyways, yeah, Perfect Dark. I should talk about this game. Um, so, you know, uh, one of the main criticisms I've seen about this game is that it looks very cinematic. Not, not, and not in a good way that every movement looks very cinematic, very played out. And I, I do agree with that. But I feel like we need to see more of this game. It, we, this is the first little piece of gameplay that we had in four years. Uh, sure, they may, maybe not as a maybe may, maybe not as huge to just show nothing, but I I, I feel like um I, I feel like you know like maybe 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 wait for like 
a few more presentations. I mean, maybe we'll get actually something much more close, uh, closer to the to the thing. To actually, what Perfect Dark? We should expect from Perfect Dark. Which I mean, we, we, we've only had two Perfect Dark games before this, so yeah. Anyways, um, I'm 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 excited for for it. Uh, I'm never gonna get able to play it, but I sh I will be able to play the original Perfect Dark game on my Switch. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Anyways, yeah, Perfect Dark has no release date. Still after four years, so yeah, um, that's very cool. Next up is Diablo 4 Vessel of Hatred, the the Vessel of Hatred DLC. Uh, no actual gameplay still. Uh, I mean, with these, but it's a DLC, and you know what? Diablo 4 is. You know, a, a, a game that has been that that's recent. It's at least recent. <laughs> so I can I can talk about it. So yeah, um, Diablo 4. It's a top-down strategy game. I don't like it. I'm not. I, I guess I said earlier. I, I've said multiple times. I am not the biggest fan of top-down strategy games. They're just not my thing. And Diablo 4. Is my thing. Yeah, that's fine. I can just not like a game. Uh, this like the cinematic was very uh, gruesome. Uh, and now and I'm, it's not like oh gore. I'm not. I, I'm, not uh, I, I'm not a pussy. <laughs> but like, uh, uh, but yeah, just I can't, I can't say much. It's, it, I didn't get much about the Vessel of Hatred DLC. I. We probably would talk about gameplay. I don't know. It, 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 I guess it looks fine. It looks like va vaguely horror esque. I don't know. So yeah, that's all I really gotta say about Devil Four Vessel Nature DLC. They did not talk about anything about this. So we're just gonna move on to. Uh, it's coming out October four eighth, twenty twenty four. Just by the way. Next up is Fable. Um. So this game is. A, I think it's a remake or like a reboot of the series. And I don't know what to think, really. Um, I mean, it, it could be cool, I guess. This is also a game that, has, that was announced quite a while ago when we didn't really get much, and now it's like finally coming out. So I, I feel like... Uh, I feel like it's at least... You know, I, at least, uh, uh, you know, it looks fine, I guess, it, 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 it looks fine, I'm not, I, I'm not the biggest fantasy fan, it looks very, like, normal fantasy-ish, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of fantasy, it just, it, 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 it looks fine, I, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you, it looks fine, I think I have to be shown much more of the gameplay at some points, uh, I, I, I really kept up with this game. I'm not the biggest. Again, I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan of Fable. I don't even. I've never touched a fucking Fable game. I never sneezed in the original Fable game because the last Fable game was probably like 20 years ago, something like that. So, you know, I, I I'm not that. I don't. I don't know much about Fable. So yeah. There's the hat. Anyways, uh, Fable. I, I can't really say much. It looks fine. It just looks fine. So yeah, Fable is coming out in 2025. Next up is Fragpunk, a game which I actually do like where it's going, and I, I do like what I'm looking at and what I'm seeing. So Fragpunk is is a hero shooter. Yeah, it's a hero shooter. But I feel like it looks it, it looks very cool. I like the art style. I like the, the I like the fact that we. I, I like I like the fact that uh that like that every character has a lot has a very unique design. Um, that's yeah, very stylized. I, I like like I like I I'm not a big fan of the cards, but it does remind me a lot of uh, Neon White, which uses like I think it uses the card in a very interesting way. The cards are very cool. So you know I I I, I like what I'm looking at. With uh, with Frag Punk, it's basically just like neon white uh, hero shooter, and I feel like that's very cool. I think you can do a lot of hero shooters that are that that it's a very unexplored uh, 
a, a, a genre. But what I think the main problem with hero shooters is is that Overwatch has definitely dominated it in a lot of in a lot of sense, and has pretty much dominated it for the last ten years almost eight eight years. The last eight years it has dominated this uh, this genre because the, the only one, the only one, the only only one was uh, was a uh, uh, Valorant. That's the only other hero shooter. And I, I, I guess Apex Legends. I guess Apex is a hero shooter, but then like, no, it's I don't, I don't think it is. It, it, that's more battle royale, but with characters. Okay, it's a, it's a mix of both. It's a battle royale hero shooter. Um. Oh, okay, remember six seeds, every slime Valorant, yeah, so... Okay, so I've been wrong, like, there, there, there's been four games in this genre. And I feel like we could get a... What is this? What's fucking Battleborn? This game sounds familiar. I actually probably played Battleborn, to be honest. I think I think I think I've heard of this game, but like, you know, yeah, I don't know. But there, there were other games in this. Like, okay, if anyone wants to, if, if anyone remembers Pal Paladins, uh, that was the that was the game. Okay, right, so that was kind of weird. So I don't know if you heard, if you guys noticed the cut. But, uh, but Craig just disconnected. I guess I'm recording this on Discord. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, we we're almost done. Whatever. Uh, I was talking about Paladin. So, yeah, like, Paladin was a thing. But that, one, that, that wasn't really that big. Also, what the fuck? The, so, the Switch version ended support on June 21st, 2023. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, but, yeah, like, the Paladin was a thing. Um,. Yeah, it was only it was Rose Six Siege, Apex Legends, Valorant, Overwatch. That's it. And then now Marvel Rivals, which is apparently going to be very big. And now we're getting, and we're we're getting Concord, sadly. And now there's a uh, Frag Punk, and I feel like Frag Punk is definitely doing uh, something with it. So it it's keeping its identity. Uh, so yeah, I feel like it's very cool. Next up is Winter. Oh, sorry, it's coming out 2025. Next up is Winter Borough. Um, not much to say about this game, to be genuinely honest. Um. I I feel like it I I I feel um like this game is actually just uh what do you call it? I feel like, I feel like this game is just, it's fine I guess it's, it's a survival game I guess but the thing is. They set in in this game. They set up uh, a thing. They set up a little plot where you have to go to your aunt's house to build like a little bridge. It's kind of to me. It's kind of very. It's very poorly written. I don't like how it's written. I I don't like how it's written. Um, and then how, and I don't like how it's presented. Where in this game, uh, and it's in the trailer. It shows you what happens when you get to the aunt's house and the aunt uh, and the aunt gets snatched up by an owl. And I'm like, what the fuck? Right? These letters experience that in the game. I don't know. It was very weirdly presented. I don't like how it was presented. It kind of tells you what happens in like the first half of the game, probably. So you know, I I, I feel like it could have been presented better, or maybe it's not. Or maybe just as a trailer on IG, and I, I I really don't know. I feel like this game didn't need to take up space here. I feel like it was kind of way too space, to be honest. Just just kind of saying. It, it was they they kind of said nothing, and uh, I I don't, I, don't, I don't I don't get it. I really don't get it. So yeah, that's that's all I gotta say. So yeah. Winter Burrow is coming on uh, in early 2025. Next up is Mixtape. Um, Mixtape looks one of those looks like one of those games that's much more of a, much more of an experience than a game itself. It tells us the story about a uh, about a, 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 a just these teenagers doing teenagers things in the 80s. That's uh, that's very 
it, 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 yeah, it, it, it's a thing you can do. It, it, it's a story you can tell. It's fine. It, it tells a story with like sort of like super not supernatural things. So definitely like with like I, I, I guess like uh, like you know like things that are you know, imagine like, imaginary thing uh, and moments like flying in the sky and all that and. Yeah, it's very, it's very cool. I, I, I feel it's very, it's a very cool like story to tell. Like I guess the not rebellious side of teenagers, especially during the '80s, with like the soundtrack of the '80s. That's very cool. I don't even know if it's '80s. It might be '90s, and I just fucking imagine or anything. But anyways, um, like that, that, that '80s, '90s, just to put it in the, into a blunt, like just, just whitening that a little. Um, yeah, I feel very good. It's cool, but not really my thing. Ah, okay, I Journey is one of my favorite games, so I am very much not. I, I'm not against experience over gameplay, or like like using the gameplay as much of an experience. And I like absolute too. I am not against that, but this kind of story is not my thing. So yeah. Uh, anyways, mixtape is coming out in 2025. Next up is Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. It's, it's Microsoft Flight Simulator, but actually they're adding things that I actually kind of like, which is the fact that you have multiple uh, little games that you can have within Flight Simulator where you can play as different uh, jobs that require avian, uh, a, 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 you know, like avian vehicles. That's cool. That's a thing I think is very cool, but I don't think, but I, I don't think it's cool. Cool as how the Xbox, the Xbox, the Xbox is gonna sound. Where you when you run this thing? So yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, I, I, it, it's Microsoft Flight Simulator. I, I do I do like it, but we all know what Microsoft Flight Simulator does and looks like and uh, it plays like. It's, it's just flying a plane. If I find a plane, I can have really game. Just just saying. Yeah. Just 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 putting it out there. That's my kind of thoughts on it. Uh, the game is coming out on November nineteenth, twenty twenty four. Next up is the Elder Scrolls Online Gold Road DLC. Now, I don't know what was Gold Old Road DLC and what was another part of this, but apparently, um, this is a this is a, a what do you call it? This is a, a a DLC. I don't know what was the DLC or not, but we're getting this. Uh, it's Elder Scrolls. I play, I played Skyrim, so I kind of know what the Elder Scrolls. Uh, gameplay is like, so I, I actually like gave an opinion on this. Um, I, 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 I like it, like, I, I like the uh, I, 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 I like it, but it's, it's fucking Skyrim, like, it, it's, it does not, it doesn't look pretty. Um, Uh, but yeah, I, I, I like it, but yeah, I don't know, like, it, it's always close online, so it's, you know, it's, it's kind of like this MMO thing, kind of. I don't know, like, it, it, it looks fine, I guess, but uh, it's not my thing, really. Anyways, the DLC, the Gold Road DLC is available now for those who play Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, next up is Life is Strange Double Exposure. Now, uh... uh Life is Strange is definitely a very strange franchise. <laughs> Uh, it, it's uh, it's kind of like pe- people don't really know if it's good or not. Uh, there are people who say it's good, people say it's fucking terrible. Uh, it is it is not a good game I would enjoy, but I I I somewhat like I, I, I don't know what to feel about this. It's just kind of weird what the plot is is. Uh, it's just it's a separate dimension. Like oh we 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 gotta save this. We, we gotta save this uh, this person from. Whatever fate they, they 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 might have, and maybe I'll save mine. I, I don't. Know. It's kind of simple. It, it's nothing that bad, I guess. But you know, it, it, it's it's fine. It's a fine plot, I guess. Yeah, just, just, just just saying, it's it's a fine enough plot. Not not much more to say, really. But yeah. I'm- yeah, I, I don't have much more to say about it. I, it Life is Strange is a fucking talking simulator. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's coming. Double Sports is coming out on October 29th, 2024. Next up is Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. 
Now this game looks very cool. I, th I think uh, it looks like we're going to be traveling a lot, uh, a lot in this game. So we're going to see uh, the, the the you know the, 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 the Siberia and the Great Towers of Giza and the Great Towers of Giza, the Great Pyramids of Giza, and, and all that. And, you know, like, uh, that's very that's very cool. It's very Indiana Jonesy. We're probably in like a big, but the game's gonna feel like it's like a very big Indiana Jones movie, and that sounds very cool. The gameplay, obviously, I like I like the fact that we use the whip a lot. I like the fact that we just uh, that the punches, you know, like they they they, they, they feel weighty, and it's from the game from the from the, from the perspective. I like what we're seeing with this game. Too bad I won't be able to play because it's gonna be uh, it's exclusive. But yeah. That's fun. Anyways, yeah, no, uh, not much more to say. I, we talked. I talked about this before in the partner preview about Indiana Jones. Uh, this gate, this this specific trailer spawned memes because of the guy who did the choo choo and then ha ha ha. Uh, that was that. <laughs> Yeah, no, that, that that came out of this trailer, so yeah, that, that was very cool, but aside from that, not much more. Anyways, this game, uh, Indiana Jones and Debate Circle is coming out in 2024, at some point. Next up is Mecha Break. Now, this game plays a lot a lot like those, uh, the, those Gundam games, like, all, all the Gundam games, pretty much. Um, so, I, uh... I, I, I guess I, I, it plays a little bit more like like a oh god sucks okay it's gonna be a lot of fucking ear <laughs> I, I was looking at Gundam Evolution and, I, and that was that was that was a uh, pretty much a hero shooter game and that one did not fucking ear uh, but yeah Mecha Break um It looks cool, I guess, but I'm not. I, I'm not the biggest. It's not gonna interest me. I I said earlier that I do like collect Gundams and all that. I, I do build. I do build Gunpla. Uh, but that's really the, my extent. I just kind of build Gunpla, and that's really about it. I don't know. I'm not interested in this, and this is very much catering to that like Gundam uh, fan that, that want a uh, gameplay. But it's not, it's it's not technically Gundam. It's not. But yeah. Anyways, that's really gonna say about Mecha Break. It's coming out in jo uh, on. 2025, no release date, no actual like, to release date, just a release year. But a beta is coming out this month, apparently. I don't know when. Let me just check, double check. Mega break beta. Um, server maintenance, remember, turn to the battlefield. Oh, where did I play? Oh, it's available now, it seems. Okay. That's cool. Um, I don't even know. Was it open? It's beta. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. Just just putting it out there. Next up is Wu Chang Fallen Feathers. Um, very cool. Uh, reminds me a lot of Sekiro. It's but this is Chinese. Uh, this is a Souls-like game. Uh, is it, is it a Souls-born game? Uh, it's not Souls-like. Um, inspired by Chinese uh, by, by Chinese culture. As I said, no, it, it, you know, uh, you know, uh, 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 as, uh, what do you call it? like uh, like instead of instead of uh, Sakura's um, uh, Japanese uh, culture basis like Japanese basis this is very Chinese based but it's like Chinese based with like horror in it like uh, like I guess cosmic to body horror. Right? It it def it, it's very, it's very Dark Souls E. That's very cool. I don't like. I, I'm not the biggest fan of Soulsborne games, mainly or Souls like games mainly because I mainly because I suck at them. <laughs> so I know I play Monster Hunter, and that's like a th and they're very like similar games, but I don't think I'd li I I don't know if I'd like it. Maybe I should give them a shot, but I don't know. I'll I, I'll think about it maybe. But yeah. Uh, I feel like this one looks very cool. I like the gameplay. Uh, it, it, it looks, it, it looks, it looks like a very, you know, it doesn't look as clunky or I guess as slow as the Dark Souls games. So that's very cool. Uh, that's like one of my biggest, biggest, biggest gripes. 
about uh about the game and why I made longsword in uh, in Monster Hunter. <laughs> so yeah, um, I uh, that's that's really I think I was saying about Blue Chan and Fallen Feathers. That's coming out next year, 2025. Next up is Avowed. Now Avowed, we talked about this again in the partner preview, and I think it's the same thing again. I I I don't think. I, I don't know. I don't know what to think about this game, really. It just looks kind of generic magic stuff. It, it Generic it, it, fantasy stuff. It doesn't look interesting. It just doesn't look interesting. They, they, they could work, but it doesn't. It reminds me a lot of that one game. Uh, like, that, like they, they released last year, I think. Or maybe it was this year. I don't remember. But it was, like, it was in the, it was in PlayStation presentations. I could probably find it if I tried to look for it, but I'm not going to try to look for it. Um... It was there, and I just like, oh yeah, this looks cool, but I, I think it was, it was like something Aether or something, I don't remember. But yeah, it was, it was, like, it was very generic, but I guess it could work. But you know, this, this wasn't, this also looks like that, just reminds me of, of that, and that game uh, was a flop, <laughs> so I hope this game Find it, it doesn't any more instead of just being normal uh just a normal fucking uh what do you call it? Uh, just just normal fantasy game. You know, I I, I love that. To, to find that. Uh, this game was supposed to actually have a different release date release date when this uh edition was announced. But apparently because people were like, hey, there's too many games coming out in 2024, which was a fucking lie. Um they decided to push it back to 2025, February 18th, 2025. So that's the official release date of the game. Probably gonna get delayed again, to be honest. So yeah. <laughs> okay, next up is Adam Fall. Now, um, this sounds like a very, like, this sounds very der- derivative of, uh, like, this is the game itself looks very der- der- derivative of uh, Adam Atomic Heart. And that is very apparent. This looks like a dying atomic heart to be gen, honest with you. I uh, I don't know. I don't know what to think. It, it just looks like that. And that's kind of, I don't know, sad that you couldn't come up with anything better, to be honest. I don't, I, I'm not really looking forward to this game. It just kind of looks okay. But I feel like whatever it could do, I think it atomic heart could probably do it better. It just doesn't look really that interesting to me, to be honest with you. So yeah. Um, that's all I gotta say. Anyways, uh, I, Atomic, uh, Atomic, uh, Atom Fall is coming out in 2025. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna talk. Anyways, next up is Assassin's Creed Shadows, which is a really weird thing. We're, we're probably gonna talk about it again and that's next time, next presentation, where we talk about, uh, the Ubisoft Forward. So yeah, we're going bit by bit by bit by bit, release dates, all that. So the Ass- Assassin's Creed Shadows, um, looks Fine, I'm not the biggest Assassin's Creed fan. I, I, I like what we're going for the story, uh, the sh- uh, Shinobi and Samurai, you know, all that. That's very cool, having two perspectives here. Of course, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's Assassin's Creed. I don't know how da- y- y- uh, Yasuke can work with him being a Samurai and all that. Like, it, it, like, it as, as like an assassin, like, Samurais um, aren't really that known for being sneaky that's why the shinobi are here for and that's why the ninjas are here for and people don't even know if ninjas were actually real so yeah like it's it's uh it's it's very it's very weird to see uh to, to, to see the like, a, 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 a samurai uh, being an assassin, I guess, being a uh, with, with this, uh, with this, very cool story. You can definitely tell it, but it's, it's Assassin's Creed. Like, I mean, sure, Assassin's Creed kind of lost the sauce a long time ago, but uh, yeah, no, I, uh, I don't know what to think about this game. It, it's just another Assassin's Creed game. It's a really fucking Assassin's Creed game. Again, if I can slow down with these games, we do not need a billion Assassin's Creed games. By, by the time I'm 30, we'd have, we'd have more Assassin's Creed games. <laughs> I'm not joking.
Um, okay, so one, two, Brotherhood, Revelations, three. What the fuck? Okay. When does they don't tell us release dates? At least, how much does it have? Jesus Christ, 2011. So this game isn't actually that old. Okay, maybe a little. <laughs> 2007. Okay, hold on. No, I maybe will feel old. 2009. 2010. Brotherhood. Come on, show me. 2010. Okay. Three was uh what? Take the revision. I'm just looking. Three was 2012. Black Flag was what? 2013. Okay. Rogue. 2014. Okay, we're still really releases. There's not there's not been a time skip. What? Okay. So it seems Unity and Rogue released in the same year. Huh. How do you fucking manage that? November 11th. By at least two games. That makes no sense. Syndicate, uh, 15? 15. Virgins. 17. They skipped 2016, fucking finally. <laughs> Odyssey, 2018. Yeah. 20, 20, 20, no, this is 2020. Yeah. They skipped 2019, too. And 2023. Wow. 2020, okay. We're back, okay. Uh, how much was that? That should have been that long. Probably 20 minutes already got him. <laughs> Just looking through all the Assassin's Creed games. Yeah, no, I, I don't need this. I don't need fucking yearly Assassin's Creed games. Sir, we had a three year break break with uh, with this game. But it was last year we got Mirage. We don't we don't need Assassin's Creed. We don't need Assassin's Creed to become another Call of Duty. We don't need that. Please don't. We please don't do that. Anyways, yeah. Assassin's Creed Shadows is coming out in, on November 15th, 2024. Next up is Stalker 2, Heart of Chern Chernobyl. Um, this looks very cool. Stalker has a, you know, it's, it, it's a, it's a very, you know, uh, I guess, beloved franchise. Even though it has, like, a few games. Um, I'm pretty sure Stalker 2, until Stalker 2 comes out. Like, it, 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 it's had games, I guess, like, three games. Um, I, I don't, it, it's a, it, it's kind of like a, I don't know what to call it. It's a it's a game that uh um it's a game I guess, I guess it's set in a post apocalyptic world where like in the, the, the like you know Russia and the United States got in a war. I don't I don't I don't know if I'm saying this right or wrong. Maybe maybe I am, but it seems very like uh where is it? Here we go. Uh, it's an altered version of present day. Terminal schools are shown in, in Ukraine. A mysterious second to 2006 as a result. Okay. Okay, so it's not like post apocalyptic, but there is like, but that one, like, exclusion zone in Chernobyl was like, had another, um, uh, had a, like, another explosion that caused a lot more. It just, also, what the fuck? So last, so the last game. Um. The, the last game before um. Uh, before this one was in 2009. <laughs> Fifteen years ago. For those people who want to feel old, yeah. Uh, it looks very cool. I, I, I like the I like what we're seeing with the world and all that. It looks very weird. I, the, the, the design of, of like the, the enemies look very weird. That's very cool. I like that. So yeah, like this game looks very impressive. If I wasn't, if it wasn't just on, just on that spot, I probably would have bought. Maybe, 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 maybe it's not just on that spot. Maybe just let me just check. Maybe it's it's just that spot. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna fuck myself then. Um, okay, whatever. Um, yeah, so, 
Tucker 2, Heart Chernobyl was the second game that I had to change the release date of because it got delayed again to November 10th, 20th, 2024. Next up, uh, the la second last thing isn't really much of a game announcement, so I'm probably not going to delve on it too much. But, uh... But they, they revealed, like, new consoles for, for the Xbox series. That's fine, that's cool. It was all digital, and there was, like, another one that was, like, that, like, a green pattern. It actually took me a while to guess what the fuck they were showing over that one. But yeah, but they're, they've made all digital ones, kind of like a PlayStation has an all-digital version, which is the one I own of the PS5. Yeah, that's very cool. And they're gonna come out holiday 2024, but they have like, there's not gonna like a pro or something. It's not the, the Xbox Series XS. Or not the, the SX or XX, if you wanna go in the porn third day. Anyways, yeah. So, yeah. So, our actual last announcement of the of the presentation was Gears of War E Day. So, yeah, okay. Yeah, again, just, just cinematic, but I can actually kind of talk about Gears of War a little. I actually kind of made me on it. A little, not, not like other games that you just kind of like just rock out it. So Gears of War, I uh, was a franchise that's very beloved. It's still very beloved, but uh, but it, it pretty sure it has gone downhill in recent in recent entries, and uh, it's just hasn't had uh, an entry in a while. I'm pretty sure the last one was um, Gears Five. Uh, it, was Gear, it was Gears 5, 2019, so not, not that long ago, actually. The Gears of War, does not Legend 2006, no, fucking long ago. God damn. Uh... 2, 3, 4, Gears 5, <laughs> and then E-Day. So, E-Day is a prequel, it's uh, taking place during the first few days of the, of whatever invasion that happened in Gears of War. That's very cool. Again, I don't know how I don't know how Gears Five ended, but if it's not enough to go to to, to Gears Six, then like uh, I don't know how Gears died. I don't know how Gears Five ended. Let me just check real quick. I'm on Wikipedia right now. Uh, Okay, so it ends, I guess, setting up a prequel. I was thinking of a sequel. So now, they're doing a prequel instead of a sequel, instead of Gear 6. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's very cool. I, I love when they explore things that weren't really explored in the game. They take this cock while before the, the first game, so it was very, again, very cool. So I hope that, uh, oh, but I hope it's good. I hope that Gears of War fans are, uh, are you know, are, are, are satisfied with the game when it comes out. Because I know that Gears, the Gears series hasn't really been in, in a good spot for a while. So yeah, that's really about it. Um, I don't know. I, I, I guess the my, my favorite thing about this was talking about Doom, which was fucking an hour ago. <laughs> so yeah, no, um, what did you guys think about the presentation? Leave in the comments below. All of our socials are in, are in the YouTube description, not in the Spotify description. I should really, I should really mention that before people are like, what the fuck are the, are the, are the links? Go to YouTube. Um, they're there. I am not gonna try to fucking put them on on, a, on Spotify. We tried that once at the start of at the start of the podcast way long ago, and that didn't work. We didn't like how they looked. So yeah, just just putting it out there. Um, they're all on our YouTube page, on our YouTube description. Uh, so yeah, I think that's about it. Um, I I really I, yeah, I think that's about it. Is that really it? Yeah, hey, I mentioned everything. But yeah, uh, that's about it. See